Let's talk about the latest buzz in the Samsung world, the eagerly awaited Samsung Galaxy S23 FE. We've been missing the FE models for a while, so this one's got us all ears. We're not just hyping it up, we're going to give you the real deal so you can decide if the right call for you. No fluff, just the facts. Let's get into it. Price. So the Galaxy S23 FE will be hitting the shelves on October 26th. That means you won't have to hunt it down. You can snag it from Samsung, Best Buy, and Amazon. All right, let's talk cash. The Samsung Galaxy S23 FE starts at 600 bucks, a cool $200 less than its big sibling, the S23. That gets you eight gigs of RAM and 128 gig storage. But if you're a space hog, you can bump it up to 256 gigs. Performance and battery, Compared to its predecessor, the Galaxy S21 FE, this new kit on the block brings a performance upgrade from the Snapdragon 888 to the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. It's a step up, but hold on. It's not as powerful as the Gen 2 and the rest of the S23 series. A little bummer, right? Now about that engine, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 can get a bit toasty and thirsty for power, so it might not be the marathon champ in battery life. Especially if you're pushing it hard like during gaming sessions, but hey, here's the silver lining. The S23 FE packs a 4500 mAh battery, trumping the standard S23's 3900 mAh. So that beefier battery might balance out the processor's hunger. And charging? No worries. It supports the usual suspects. 25 watt wired charging, 15 watt wireless charging, and 4.5 watt wireless power share for juicing up other gadgets. So it's got the juice to keep you going. Camera. All right, let's focus our lens on the Samsung Galaxy S23 FE's camera setup. It's a bit trim compared to the S23 Big Sibling, nothing too drastic. The main act is a 50 megapixel camera, flaunting a wide f-stop 1.8 aperture and a cool trick called adaptive pixel tech. What's that? It's like having four buddies combine their strength into one superhero for a sharp, vibrant photo. And when the lights dim, Samsung's nightography swoops in for those awesome low-light shots. Then we zoom out to a 12 megapixel ultra wide cam, keeping up with the S23's game. But here's where they pulled a little photography magic trick. The telephoto cam took a step back to 8 megapixels, but still plays the zoom game like a champ with 3 times optical zoom. So wave hello to distant shots. Now, onto selfies. The S23 FE brings a 10 megapixel selfie shooter, just a bit shy compared to the S23's 12 megapixels. Sure, it's like using a slightly smaller paintbrush, but you'll still paint a good selfie picture. Display and Design Let's talk about the Samsung Galaxy S23 FE and its visual prowess. Picture this. A 6.4-inch Full HD Plus Dynamic M OLED 2X display a sweet spot between the S23 and S23 Plus. It's like the Goldilocks of screens, not too big, not too small. Plus, it's got that cool adaptive refresh rate thing, going from 60Hz to 120Hz just like the big shots. Now let's address the fashion game. It's rocking cool colors, mint, purple, cream, and graphite. Purple especially pops with a deep hue, but gotta spill some tea, the design's a smidge less polished compared to the S23 gang. It's a tad heavier and slightly bigger than the S23 Plus, but hey, it won't throw off your phone dance moves. Now let's talk about the downsides, especially if you're in India eyeing the Samsung Galaxy S23 FE, Here's the deal. Samsung opted for the Exynos 2200 version for the Indian market, and it's not a match made in smartphone heaven. If you've been down the Exynos road before, you know it's got a history of heating up and slowing down when it's showtime. To make matters more complicated, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 version, a year older but still a champ, is what the rest of the world gets. That's a bit of a letdown considering how the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 is still holding strong. Just check out the Nothing Phone 2 for proof. But wait, there's more. The price tag in India for the S23 FE starts at $720 for the 8GB of RAM and 128GB storage version. That's a hefty hit to the wallet. Even with some discounts in the mix, it's a tough sell when you weigh it against alternatives like the Pixel 7, a real budget-friendly superstar. You can snag the Pixel 7 at just $504 for the 8GB of RAM and 128GB storage variant. Now that's a bargain. The Pixel 7 flaunts top-notch hardware, a sleek design, and Google's clean software with exclusive features. Plus, those camera skills. A grade? It might have a slightly slower screen and 90 hertz, but trust me, those photos make up for it. If the Pixel 7 isn't your vibe, there's the Nothing Phone 2 at $540 for the 8GB slash 128GB version. It's got unique design, powerful tech, and software that you can jazz up to match your style. 
So here's the verdict for our Indian pals. Hold off on the S23 FE. There's a buffet of better options out there and they won't break the bank. Keep your options wide and wallets happy. And there you've had it, folks. That's a wrap on today's deep dive into the Samsung Galaxy S23 FE now. With all the info in your tech toolkit, the big question is, is this the one for you? We're dying to hear your thoughts. Drop them down below. Are you hitting that purchase button or giving it a pass? Thanks a ton for tuning in and we'll catch you in the next one.